Hello, I'm Roy Wong and I'm glad to present our work, Masked Video Distillation, Rethinking Masked Feature Modeling for Self-Supervised Video Representation Learning. Masked Video Distillation is a self-supervised video representation learning method, based on the paradigm of masked video modeling. Recent masked video modeling methods train models to reconstruct low-level features like raw pixels of masked input regions. In our work, we study how to design better reconstruction targets for masked video modeling. We find that using high-level features generated by pre-trained models as reconstruction targets can help models learn stronger video representations. And our masked video distillation leverages different kinds of pre-trained models as teacher models and reconstruct features encoded by both image models and video models at the same time. With Vanilla Video Transformer, MVD achieves state-of-the-art performance on various challenging video downstream tasks. Now let's start with the background. Mask and prediction, or masked feature modeling, is a paradigm for self-supervised learning, which reconstructs features of masked patches. This paradigm has been adapted to video domain in the recent works. Like Video MAE, and boosts video transformers by clear margins, compared with supervised pre-training on several video downstream tasks. However, existing masked video modeling methods pre-train models by reconstructing low-level features, like raw pixel values, hog features, or low-level VQVAE tokens. These reconstruction targets contain much noise. And models may learn shortcuts due to the high redundancy in video data. So in this paper, we study how to design better reconstruction targets for masked video modeling. We find that, using high-level features of pre-trained models as targets, can help models learn stronger representations, and achieve much better performance on downstream tasks. Based on this observation, we propose masked video distillation, a two-stage masked video modeling framework, where we first pre-train models by masked image modeling or masked video modeling, and use it as teachers to provide high-level target features for a student model in the second stage. For video representation learning, we have more choices, compared with image representation learning, because we can use either image models or video models to generate target features. Here we use different teachers in the MVD framework, and evaluate the performance of student models on different video datasets. Specifically, the image teacher is a vision transformer pre-trained on ImageNet with masked image modeling, and the video teacher is a video transformer pre-trained on Kinetics 400 with masked video modeling. We observe that, students pre-trained with image teachers performs better on the Kinetics 400, which relies more on static spatial information, while students pre-trained with video teachers performs better on the Something Something V2, which relies more on temporal dynamics in the video. Based on this observation, to leverage advantages of different teachers, we propose a spatial-temporal co-teaching strategy for MVD framework, where the student model is trained to reconstruct the features from both the image teacher and video teacher, with 2D coupled decoders. Through spatial-temporal co-teaching, stronger spatial representation and temporal dynamics can be learned at the same time. Compared with students distilled by either single teachers in the second stage of MVD, student trained with spatial-temporal co-teaching achieves better performance on different kinds of downstream video datasets. We also compares MVD with one of most recent masked video modeling methods, Video MAE, which trains models to reconstruct raw pixel values. The results of experiments show that MVD achieves much stronger performance across different model scales. We also find that using larger teachers can bring more significant performance gains. In addition, since MVD can obtain superior performance with much fewer epochs, compared with Video MAE, MVD achieves better trade-off between accuracy and pre-training time, even when including the pre-training time of two teachers for MVD. We pre-train student models on the Kinetics 400 and evaluate MVD on various challenging downstream video datasets, including video recognition datasets, Kinetics 400, Something Something V2, UCF 101 and HMDB 51, and an action detection dataset AVA. Compared with previous supervised and self-supervised methods, our methods achieve state-of-the-art performance. 
In the previous experiments, we find that students distilled with different teachers show different properties on the performance of different downstream datasets. Since the properties of target features generated by different teachers may influence the performance of students, we also try to analyze the target features generated by different teachers. We study the similarity between feature maps across different frames of each input video and visualize the similarity matrices of different target features computed on the Kinetics 400 validation set. We find that, for image teachers, the feature maps of different frames are almost the same, while for video teachers, the features of different frames show larger difference. This indicates that video teachers capture more temporal difference. So student distilled from video teacher can learn stronger temporal dynamics and perform better on temporally heavy video tasks. In summary, we propose masked video distillation, a two-stage masked video modeling framework for self-supervised video representation learning. We find that using MIM pre-trained image transformers or MVM pre-trained video transformers as teachers in masked video modeling can significantly boost the performance on video downstream tasks. And students distilled with different teachers show different properties. To leverage is the advantage of either single teacher, MVD combines different teachers with spatial temporal co-teaching and achieves higher performance. On various video downstream tasks, MVD outperforms recent masked video modeling methods at different model scale and achieves state-of-the-art performance compared with previous supervised and self-supervised methods. We have open-sourced our code and pre-trained models on GitHub. More details and insights are included in our paper.